your thoughts on india having only one nuclear submarine should india and france form an alliance to develop nuclear nuclear submarines which would be a great advantage for the indian navy um as of today so we had this nuclear submarine called the ins chakra on lease on a 10 year lease from russia it's an akula class nuclear submarine and uh, that's the second akula class that in at least the second i think that uh, india had taken on a 10 year lease that's been given back to russia it was rather old it served its purpose so that nuclear sub is now gone will we take another nuclear sub from the russians on lease that remains to be seen do we have any operational nuclear submarines we have the ins arihant which is fully deployed which is fully operational and we also have the ins arighat which may or may not be fully operational fully deployed it was undergoing sea trials and all that which means it was already capable of uh, sailing in the sea under the, under the sea it was undergoing extended extensive sea trials now has it been operationalized or not we don't quite know maybe it has maybe it's not been operationalized maybe it will be announced in the future that it was operational from so and so date the way it was done with the ins arihant so as far as i see it we most likely have two operational nuclear submarines so what are the capabilities of the submarines they have indigenous nuclear reactors within them which power them and that essentially gives your submarine the ability to stay submerged indefinitely for months on end now it depends on the specifics of your submarine your, your technology the maturity and all that every new submarine that we build will be an iterative improvement on the previous submarine so we had the ins arihant which had a certain size certain capability the ins arighat will be an iterative improvement upon the ins arihant so the exact dimensions of the new submarine the arighat are classified they have not been revealed to the press to the world and it's weapons capabilities all are also kind of not completely clearly known which is a good thing so the ins arihant can um, carry a certain number of k what is it there are two classes of k missiles one is a medium range missile and one is a long range missile so i think the ins arihant is capable of carrying a certain number of those medium range sagarika missiles the ins arighat can also carry a, a similar number possibly of those missiles and possibly an enhanced range long range version of those missiles which have been under development apparently for a few years maybe they have been deployed we don't know and we should not know about this that at this stage so as far as i am concerned we have two deployed operational nuclear, nuclear submarines at various stages of deployment so that to some extent completes our nuclear triad the question is should india and france form an alliance to develop nuclear submarines we already have the technology now we already have two nuclear subs that are in the ocean are operational so we don't need uh, a transfer of technology from the french the french have a mature nuclear submarine program they have been using nuclear submarines for for years for decades so have the russians the russians have actually in a variety of ways helped india with the nuclear submarine technology especially the miniaturization of the nuclear reactor it's perfectly easy to create a large big bloaty wheeled or unwieldy nuclear reactor that takes up a lot of space but to have the same nuclear reactor the same power output in a miniaturized design that is where you need advances in technology and that is apparently where russia has helped india with the miniaturization of nuclear reactor te technology so that you can take a nuclear reactor that's which a, which is a powerful nuclear reactor and fit it inside a submarine so india now has the technology of course it is still a work in progress every new nuclear sub we build will have an improved version of the reactor and various other things so i think india is doing very well india doesn't need help from anybody else at this stage now uh so we we have a good relationship with france it's you could call it a strategic relationship the french are part of nato but they are not a us vassal state they have their own independent foreign policy which the americans don't like very much 
but that's just how it is so india and france have a very good relationship very cordial relationship our strategic interests align to a large extent our national interests align to a significant extent especially in the indo pacific region france whether you know it or not is a major indian ocean military power france has multiple indian ocean possessions which means islands that are part of france so it is beneficial for france to cooperate with with india and vice versa so we have cooperation military cooperation strategic cooperation at various levels with the french the most visible aspect of which is the acquisition of rafal fighter aircraft so we could explore certain cooperation when it comes to technology whether whether it is jet engine technology or something else but as far as the nuclear program nuclear submarine program goes india is already on the right track it will take time maybe 10 20 years for us to have a much more mature nuclear submarine program but unless we do the trial and error right now that won't happen so we are on the right track we need to continue on that